Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another Disney villain video. Yay! So this one, obviously, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, this one is inspired by The Emperor's New Groove, the Disney villain called Yisma. She is obviously the Disney villain in the Disney movie, The Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> Please do not take a shot every time I say Disney. <laughs> in this video. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really really enjoyed this one. I absolutely love how this one turned out. I love the colours, I love the purples, I love the pinks. I just love how multi-tonal and purple this one is. If that's even the correct words to say, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I have a lot of lipstick on my taste so I'm gonna go and clean that off. I hope you enjoy. Oh shit. So Yisma is the Disney villain in the Disney movie the Emperor's New Groove? I think so. Her colours are purple. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a bit of a close up. So that's her there. So I'm just going to get started on this side. So obviously as you can see I have my eyebrows done and my eyelids primed. I did just prime with a concealer which was the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and this is in the shade Extra Fair. The first palette I went into it was the Be Perfect Cosmetics carnival palette and I just took this purple shade here which in the shade wasted but first of all before I forget I did take a shadow shield shadow shield god <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start by packing this shade on just into my crease and I'm just going to pack it quite heavily because then I'm going to go in after and blend it out Okay, so something I really want to talk to you guys about now that I'm just doing this boring stuff and I don't really have anything to talk about. Um, <laughs> so the next few Disney villain looks that I'm wanting to do is obviously Cruella de Vil and Maleficent. I have a few ideas in mind as in what I'm wanting to do with Cruella de Vil. Um, I think she's going to be quite fun to do actually, but Maleficent. I'm so stuck. I really don't know. So I was like, do you know what? Next time I'm doing a Disney villain video, I'm going to ask you guys. So if any of you guys have any ideas at all in regards to Cruella de Vil and Maleficent, please let me know because that is why I haven't done them yet. <laughs> so now that I've just kind of mapped out that shape, I'm just going to go now in and blend at that. And I'm going to take the NYX colour palette and I'm going to take this shade here. So if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever, honestly, holla at me. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. So I'm just going to take a clean brush, just a big fluffy brush, just to help blend out those edges. I'm just going to go back into the NYX palette again and I'm going to take this shade here. I'm just using this darker purple just to, once again, deepen up that crease colour. Next up, I'm just going to cut my crease and I'm just going to use the Collection Concealer and this is in the shade Extra Fair. So for this look, I'm not going to be doing a full cut crease. I'm only going to be cutting it halfway. I always like to just map it out first and then just fill in. So I'm now just going to go around those edges and just perfect them a wee bit more. I've just cleaned off my brush and I'm just going to take the excess concealer off the lid. By doing that I'm just going to pat at it because I want the lid to be tacky but not like too wet. And then I'm just going to buff out those edges so there isn't such a harsh line whenever I apply the other shadows. And then going into that wasted shade, I'm going to start packing that shade just on that outer edge. And then just slowly buffing my way in. I've gone into the NYX palettes and taken this shade here. So this is just going to further deepen up that outer corner. Next up I'm just going to take the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. This is actually a highlighting palette and it just looks like this. It does look very very boring but whenever it's swatched and it's on the face and it's on the eyes that's whenever you can tell the true colours of these pans. So I'm just going to go in with this one here which is purple. 
So as you can see, you're definitely starting to see the full effect of it now. And even as like a wee topper over some eyeshadows, it is absolutely beautiful. But you can definitely see the effect it's given as I'm applying it over that purple shade. I have this out of the pot, so excuse me. So this is the Makeup Addiction Glitter. This one here is in the shade Cinderella. Makeup Addiction Cosmetics is actually now in Beauty Bay, by the way, if you want to check them out, which is really, really exciting. But then I'm just going to take the Rude Cosmetics Glitter Primer, and then I'm just going to apply that just to that inner portion of the eye, just in that inner corner, working my way up and out. This stuff is hella messy, so I just like to take the tiniest bit in the lid. Oh my god. <laughs> I love makeup. I love makeup. That is amazing. Before I go any further, I just want to point out this strip here. So I initially went in with the NYX Verbrights Eyeliner and this is in the shade Vivid Blossom and I had just done a wee line. I don't know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't tie in right with the whole makeup look. So I actually put some of the Rude Cosmetics Glitter Glue on top of that and then went in with the Makeup Edition Cosmetics Glitter pressed onto it. I think I'm actually going to do the exact same on this eye, just so that if they're both the same by the way, I don't want to confuse anything, but I'm not keeping it this colour. <laughs> While I'm waiting for that liner to dry, I'm just going to do a wing and I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Okay, I think my eyes dry now. I was too busy watching videos on Instagram and Twitter about people getting engaged. <laughs> I honestly don't know why this looks as if it's coming out slightly silver, but I ain't mad. Okay, so next up I'm going to go with more glitter primer on my hand. Jesus. <laughs> The glitter that I'm going to use is the Glitter Shakers by Stargazer and this is the colour Violet. So just to finish off my lower lash line I'm just going to go in with the NYX palette again and I'm just going to take this dark purple shade here and I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line just as tight as I can although it doesn't really matter to be honest because I'm going to blend it out after it anyway. Taking the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, I'm just going to take that purple shade that we have been using throughout the tutorial and I'm just going to pop that just to my inner corner to give it a wee bit of something something. Okay guys, so this is the completed look and I am loving this look. This might actually be my favourite one so far. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on a second, I have music playing. I really don't think he's wanting to listen to Eagles Hotel California in the background so I just turned that off. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next one.